what are uh, some of Digifox's core values and what do they mean to you as a founder? Yeah, so at our company, you know, we wanted to kind of take a simplified and critical approach to what we really stand for as a company. A lot of companies have, as we've talked about before, Hope, a lot of like grandstanding goals that I think everyone generally agrees with. But we wanted to be very specific and rely on four pillars that really define us as a company. So the first thing that we stand out for above all, as I've emphasized already, is equitable financial opportunity. So if we don't have equal access to finance across the globe, uh, we can't reach a truly equal world. Uh, for me, equality is equal access to opportunity. And if you can give everyone those same types of tools and abilities to improve their financial future, then we can have a truly equitable world that's going to uplift a lot of people in the process. Outside of this as well, we want to put a face to finance. So when I think about you know banks or traditional finance, I, it's not that I per se think it's a totally negative experience. It's just that there's no human element. You're kind of treated like a number in a system. And we want to build something where whether it be our customer support, whether it be our community development, or kind of the events or challenges that we run throughout Digifox's ecosystem, we want things to kind of get everyone involved together and feel like there's actually other humans on the other side of the equation. Uh, and also showcase that you know we're all on this journey together. Outside of that as well, we believe in open and transparent communication. So for me, whether it be on my YouTube channel or here on Digifox, I've always believed in just being transparent. Uh, it's not only gotten to be where I am today to be as honest and candid as possible, but I believe that as we work in the team and stuff, as well as working with our users, we want to be as open as transparent and on the current status of things so we can just get towards finding the solutions that we need to resolve issues or to showcase what we're really proud of working on, the things that we're working on behind the scenes. And last but not least, we want to focus on growing with our users. So a lot of companies tend to build business models where they don't really have to uh, benefit the net user at the end of the day. And in our world, we want to make sure that we have a business that actually services our users. So anytime that our users are growing, we're growing as a business. That's the whole overarching goal. And I really believe as a founder, like, you know, if we can nail these four things in the long term, as we have already, mm -hmm. I think that we're going to continue to grow as a company for sure over the next few years. And again, have a business that helps people in all different parts of the world in their everyday lives. Mm, yeah, I, I remember reading those for the first time when you sent them to me and I was like, oh, these are really good. They're really um, just embody everything that we kind of want to be as a company and to be for users and just kind of create that community and not just be a brand, but be someone that people like be at a company that people can know. Um, so that's really, really cool.